Hi, so in this video we're going to be talking about acceleration. So what does it mean for an object to accelerate and how can we calculate it? Alright, so acceleration. That is the rate at which velocity changes. So when we're talking about acceleration, we're talking about velocity changing. Um, so that could be an increase in speed, it could be a decrease in the speed, it could be a change in the direction. All three of these would give you acceleration. So when we're talking about increasing speed, examples could commonly be something um, speeding up. So a car speeds up at a green light. When we're talking about decreasing speed, maybe the car is slowing down at a stoplight and changing direction. So a car taking a turn. So remember, even if you're changing direction, you could be changing direction at a constant speed. Um, so meaning constant speed of, it could be five meters per second, it could be 50 meters per second. Um, of course, it's not smart to change directions while maintaining the same constant speed. Usually most people slow down to change direction, but it can be done. So just remember, even if something is traveling at a constant 20 meters per second, but it's changing direction, that's still acceleration because the direction is changing. All right, so when we calculate acceleration, um, so first we're going to be talking about examples of if the object is moving in a straight line. So uniform motion. If the object is traveling in that straight line, that means that you're going to use this equation. So to find acceleration, you're going to do the final speed minus the initial speed. All of that is going to be divided by the time it takes or the time that you're looking at for this scenario. The units that you're going to use to describe acceleration every time is going to be meters per second squared. So the reason why it's those units, um, second squared, is because acceleration is expressed as velocity per second. Remember that the units we use for velocity is meters per second, right? And acceleration is the change of velocity per second, meaning you're going to divide by another second. So no one wants to really say meters per second per second. Um, it's just easier to group these two seconds together to make it meters per second squared. So every time we're talking about acceleration, the units will always be meters per second squared. All right, let's look at one example. So we have a car moving. The car is um, starting from stop. So zero seconds, zero meters per second. And then we allow the car to go forward for a total of four seconds. At the end of the four seconds, the car is now moving at a 16 meters per second. So you can see that the speed of the car changes. It goes from zero, four, eight, 12, 16 meters per second. All right. When calculating acceleration, remember we are always looking at the final position. So over here where the car lasted the four seconds at the end, and then its initial position. So where the car started, zero seconds, zero meters per second. It started at a stop. So same formula, acceleration equals final speed minus initial speed, all divided by time. So let's look at our final speed. Well, our final speed was 16 meters per second. Our initial speed was zero meters per second. And our time was from zero to four seconds. So overall, it was a total of four seconds. All right, so we're gonna plug in our final speed. So our final speed again was 16 meters per second. Our initial speed was zero. And the time that it took was four seconds. So 16 minus 0 is just 16. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And remember, it is meters per second squared. All right, so here's a challenge question for you. A car does not change its speed, but it is accelerating. How is this possible? Well, as we said before, a car can have that same speed, 20 meters per second, 20 meters per second, but the car could be changing direction. So a change in direction is a change in velocity, which is also a change in acceleration. So the car can maintain its constant speed, but change direction, and that's acceleration. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment.